But here's an astonishing midge fact that might help other people see them as we do. As many as nine out of 10 midges complete their life cycle without ever biting. Males, well, they don't bite at all. Biting is only for the female midge. She does it not for fun, but for food, to feed a second batch of eggs that she's incubating. So any midges that we succeeded in luring into our mechanical cow, they should all be pregnant, hungry females. We've got some midges from the field, so I'm hoping they're kind of hungry. Let's just see if we can get one to actually bite. I know I'm not repellent to midges, so I'm a good subject for this next demonstration. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? With the help of a super powerful microscope and its brilliant operator, Emilian, we're going to investigate why the bite of such a tiny creature can cause so much grief by filming how the midge feeds on me. There it is, oh, yes. It's a bit hidden in the forest of here, but... It's having a good route around on my arm. And this is what they do. So when they land, they have a, a sort of crawl around until they decide they find a good place to bite, unlike a mosquito that sort of gets in there and bites you straight away. And that's what causes the sort of horrible yuck factor of them crawling through your hair and in your ears and all that kind of stuff. And this one's about to bite. Yep, there she goes. You really feel the nip of a midge. Oh, this is really great. I've not actually seen a midge this close up before. Well, it's actually feeding. Bum in the air, head down, <laughs> slipping away. Oh, you can, you can almost see the mouth parts moving there. I mean, they're so tiny, but so sharp. The midge's sharp jaws cut through the skin with a scissor-like biting action. The midge rolls her mouth into a feeding tunnel and sucks up the blood. At the same time, she pumps midge saliva into the wound to keep the blood flowing. So you can see the midge is feeding on my arm now and her abdomen is filling full of blood. You can see it actually turning red. And if you look really closely at her head as well, it's sort of moving up and down, gyrating, helping the jaws get deeper inside the skin. Oh, she's adjusting a little bit. Can we get in a bit closer? There we go. Oh, there's a mic. Uh, Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. And now, now the blood is coming out yeah, as well. Yeah. So it's forming this, this pool of blood. That's the birth of a bite. So you can actually see the skin starting to go red right around it, can't you? Mm, amazing. She's kind of wandering over my skin now. Any second now she'll take off. She'll struggle to take off because she's taken about double her body weight in blood. But she'll go off for a couple of days, digest the blood, produce about 200 eggs and she's gone.